Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we have a quick one today We're talking about the third beta of the new iOS 26.2 When can we expect it to be released and of course when to expect the final release But also we have some more new features on iOS 26.2 to talk about now before we get into all that i just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure you hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel a lot and we're starting things off with the notification center so as you probably know right here the clear all button now has been updated with the liquid glass on iOS 26.2 beta 2. But you will notice that the X button now has also been updated. So anytime you tap here on the X button and it shows the clear button, it will actually now show it on the liquid glass, which of course looks much, much better. Now another fix that Apple has added with the second beta of iOS 26.2 is this one right here. If you use this page to add widgets to your home screen, you know that this would actually just glitch right here. It will basically just like stutter when you would move from the home screen to the left side here. Now, as you can see, has been fixed and it's super smooth. Apple this week has also enabled digital passports and this is for US of course only. And it's actually a pretty cool way to add your password to your wallet app. Now you need to know that you will actually still need to have the physical passport and it will work in US only currently 250 airports will actually accept this but also just keep in mind that this is for domestic flights only so if you plan to travel outside of the US you will need to always have of course your your pass passport your physical passport just as you need it on US you need to have it and of course you can pass with a digital one but you still need to have it on you but outside us you always need to have the physical passport because this one won't actually work now another change that we have talked about but i will show you guys now how it looks is this right here and this looks like is a feature or basically an option that you will get only in japan with ios 26.2 basically once you open safari for the first time on iOS 26.2, it will show you this pop-up right here, asking you to basically choose the default search engine for Safari. As you know, the Google is the default one, but you can change this in the settings. If on any device, you can change this on the Safari settings, but for Japan, now you will see it as a pop-up once you have your device on iOS 26.2. And of course you go ahead and open Safari. Now, otherwise, with this update, the battery life has been actually really good. As you can see right here, 156% battery, 12 hours, 22 minutes. Right here, 8 hours, 126, 11 hours, 4 minutes right here. So it's actually really, really good. Since beta 1 with iOS 26.2, it has actually improved quite a lot compared to iOS 26.1. So probably this will be one of the strongest points of iOS 26.2. According to that, of course, is also the performance is super smooth. The numbers on Geekbench show actually an amazing result. And of course, it's very, very smooth, especially with the second beta. So what to expect next from iOS 26.2? Well, in my opinion, the third beta should be released very soon, maybe as soon as today. Now, we're on a weekly schedule with iOS 26.2 beta, so the last one was released on Wednesday, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see the third beta released today or tomorrow. Even though the first couple of betas have been released on a Wednesday, I think Apple will move more towards the beginning of the week. And then after that, of course, the next week we should see beta 4, and then on the first week of December we either get beta 5, which it might not happen, we might actually get the RC if that happens, then of course the 8th will be the day that Apple releases iOS 26.2 to the public. So we'll still have a few weeks to see what Apple will release and just take a look at the build numbers of the new betas and see if we're getting four or five betas with iOS 26.2. So that's basically it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.